Alright guys, I have a water damage 6808 here. I'm gonna power it on. It's got extensive water damage. It's hard to see. That's like completely done for. Uh, you can see some more down there. I'm powering off the battery circuit because AC I already know is screwed. I'm not even gonna try that. This would be the first power on of it. I have no idea what's gonna happen. That's why I'm recording it. So I'm gonna power it on in three, two, one. Well, um, didn't explode. The screen looks to be dead. It seems to be operating though. Yeah, it's gonna cycle through a bunch of troubles. Um, it's not drawing too much amps wise. It's actually responsive. So it seems to be working actually. Let me get my multimeter and check the voltages and whatnot. All right, here's the multimeter. Set it on a DC voltage. Um, not sure where my pins went, but that's okay. Um, nice. So I'm gonna measure S plus L. Let me see. This would stand right here. Uh, no, it won't. So what if I go like? If I go like that. Um, I'm very sorry guys, hold on, that is way better, hopefully it doesn't fall, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is a good view, maybe this way, yeah. Right there, okay. Smart, smart idea. Not really. Now it's falling. Okay. Before this thing falls, S plus out. We are getting 26.8. So that's basically what we need. I just have it running 27 volts. Um, let me check my SLC because that also had some damage on there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Out. Yeah, it looks pretty consistent. So SLC is done for. Um let me check my next. I don't know. Let me check the S bus communication. Four point whatever, good enough. And next. Okay, that one is good. That's a little, a little low. That's good. That's a little low. Um, okay. I would do a drill, but I don't know if that'll actually make it explode or not. <laughs> I guess, I guess I'll do it for you guys. I mean, I don't think I could fix this thing anyway. Um, okay, so three, two, one. I didn't hear a click. I'm gonna check it. Ow. 
dope. Okay, let me check it. Hold on. Let's see my neck voltage. So that, yeah, that's good. Right, one, right, two, right, three, and neck four. Okay, so that's all good actually. Alright, so that just resets whatever. So this is uh, somewhat working, somewhat not working. I'm gonna try and see if I could hook up my 5860 to the S bus and see if you know it could tell me a little bit more because this isn't too much of a help. Let me see it reset those. Nothing still. I do wonder what it would do with AC power. Probably actually explode. But computer shut off for a second. I just went to sleep. I thought this thing died or it killed it. Um but yeah, this is This is uh okay for now I guess. Would be nice to know if it works at the screen. I'll figure something. The screen is really dim, actually. Anyway, I'm gonna power this thing off now. So yeah. Oh. Hold on. Uh. Okay. Power it down. hit my computer okay so yeah um it actually kind of works that's surprising cabinet is over there it's brand new door is also brand new i think it was just a board swap so you got the little paper plastic whatever there and yeah coming soon but yeah, that was uh, that's that. I'll try and figure some stuff out. See if we can replace anything, cause the um, the processor while it is damaged a little bit, or you can see there's damage on it right there. I think yeah, this is also screwed up. You can see it right there. But I don't see anything on my ribbon cable connecting the keypad. I'll take it off. I checked the back of it too. The only things I noticed were up here on the power supply side. So it wasn't too bad of a water damage. Um. I think this might actually be screwed up because it should it should display something but yeah I guess I guess not I don't see any sort of damage what is that some damage right there not really it's just a stain I don't see any sort of corrosion on the pads or anything oh wait I see water stain right next to the ribbon cable connection right there right there it's tiny but it's there um I don't see anything. Wait. Is that what I think it is? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Okay, maybe 
Actually, I could replace this screen, see if that does anything. I have plenty of these types of screens, actually. So maybe, maybe that could do something. Um, but yeah, this video is already 10 minutes, so I'm just going to end it off here. I, I'm not going to say look out for more updates because, as you've seen on my channel, I do not make any follow-up videos, usually. So don't look out for this, but it could happen. I don't know. Probably not. It's probably going to my closet and never seen it again. But maybe one day if I get bored enough, I'll actually fix it or attempt it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, look for more 3030 videos. I might make one right now, actually, depending on when this gets uploaded. Hopefully. Alright, see ya.